What's going on, everybody? So on a day where we got, you know, a sea of red and the market cap peeled back off $600 billion, let's talk about some positive news in this current environment. If you've been following my videos for a while now, you know that we've talked about Sonom when it was at 10 cents. We were talking about Sonom when it was down in this range here, okay? Now, obviously Sonom, uh, we don't know where Sonom's headed from here, but one thing we do know is it's had a nice uh, rally. It's three. It's up three times, and the the most exciting thing about it is definitely not the chart, because once we peel back what exactly is going on here, and we pop the hood and take a look at the diagnostics of what exactly we're looking at, and we examine the 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 the, the actual project, you will discover that this is unbelievable. Well. It's not necessarily unbelievable because it's happening, right? So let's take a look here. So you have Sonom, supercomputer organized by network mining. Okay, so what is Sonom? Sonom is the universal fog supercomputer <clears throat> powered by the Ethereum blockchain, right? So let's go ahead and play this video. The internet continues to make the world a more decentralized place, in spite of the dominance of major corporations like Google and Amazon. What if you own the network and were also the beneficiary of the revenue that comes from every buy that flows through it? Introducing Sun, a universal frog supercomputer built on the Ethereum blockchain. Frog computing shifts the existing cloud paradigm to a system of decentralized peer-to-peer -peer collaboration. Just as Uber searches a network for available cars in a specific area, the Sun algorithm looks for the nearest and the most appropriate hub of computer power to solve clients' calculation tasks, building apps and game servers, hosting websites, conducting scientific calculations, and assisting in CGI rendering in neural network projects. The tasks are distributed between hubs according to their specification and technical capabilities. The tasks are then spread over the hub to miners, and calculations are able to begin. Any device from a smartphone to a supercomputer cluster can join the fog and sell computing power as a miner. Sun makes it easy for every miner that joins the fog network to profit from unused computing power. On the opposite side of the transaction, clients benefit from the reduced costs of Sun's decentralized architecture, security, and rate flexibility. Take advantage of this incredible opportunity and invest in the Sun ICO. Starting. All right, so that was for the ICO, and it's actually pronounced Sun, as we just heard. So you can see that this supercomputer uh, system that they've established is quite impressive. It's a highly technological project. And so once we identify that the tech, the technology is in place, then we need to identify what's going on with the team, right? So we need to take a look at the team. You can see here, Sergei Ponomarev, or Ponomarev, I apologize if I got that name wrong, and Igor Lebedev, okay? These guys are some high-level high developers, obviously, to be able to think of something like this. So um, these two right here, the CEO and the CTO, are powering this, right? You have these guys down here, and because I'm not very good at pronouncing names, I'm not going to try and name everyone off, but you can see they do have a team in place, and they're a strong team, and there's a lot of momentum behind this crew here. You can see that because of the amount of hand, hands on deck, so to speak. Now, it obviously requires a lot of hands on deck because of the fact that the project is so massive. I mean, you almost get the idea, that you almost you almost say, well, can you guys really pull it off? It's like substratum, you know? And this isn't the only project on this level trying to do this with these supercomputers. There's also Golem, both Sun and Golem are both up. Um, in the last video that I made, I did say that this one was the better buying opportunity than um, Golem. Uh, based on some of the price projections, based on the circulating supply, the market cap. As you can see, this is just over a $100 million market cap. So there's still a lot of room to grow here. Uh, and I, I mean, if we were to compare it to someone over in the billion dollar range of a market cap, who, who would be the lookalike? I mean, it's really hard for me to say anybody in that range, but some of these more sophisticated projects, 
that are not necessarily supercomputers, but on the same level of sophistication, like a project like this, you would almost look to maybe even IOTA, which is totally different than this project, but the I'm saying the level of sophistication involved in the project, which is definitely different techs. IOTA, EOS, some of these other um, billion dollar uh, companies, or whatever you want to call them, tokens, coins, cryptocurrencies, or projects, really. Um, Sonom just, it stands out for that reason, but it's got that circulating supply and it really has flown under the radar so far. And because it flies under the radar, it catches, it catches my attention. Um, so whenever I see a, a, a tech like this, you know, that's out there, I mean, we've seen it as high as what a dollar or two. So it it's, we've seen it as high as yeah, 20 cents there. Okay. So it's kind of at all time highs right now. Um, all time high would be 40 cents. It's sitting at 32 cents. So you're not getting it at an all time high. Um, if you, if you do choose to invest in the Sonar project and or the Sonar project, I apologize for not being able to pronounce things, <laughs> but anyways, there's a lot going on with this project. You got store J and Sonum. If you don't know what store J is, if you like Sycoin, you might want to check out store J labs and Sonum team to, to enable fog computing via blockchain. You can come on here to, IT Business Lodge and check out this article. You also have uh, a uh, an article here from PRN, prnewswire.com. So you come on here and read about it. I'm not going to read it to you guys right now. You got decentralized supercomputer SOM to launch MVP testnet on December 25th. That's in like three days, four days. So we'll see how the, the price reacts obviously right now in the current dynamic that we're in the market is just going uh we don't even know what to say about the market and i'm i'm trying to keep it positive because the last three videos that i've made about the market we you know 24 hours ago we had to see a green now we're looking at a sea of red and we don't know what's going on for all we know this thing could surge over 600 billion dollars or it could drop below 500 billion dollars we don't we don't really know but um i do know that when i'm looking at a cryptocurrency i'm not looking to buy at an all-time high um, unless it's uh, unless it's really justified, but at 32 cents with this um, and the, the 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 level of this project, the sophistication of the project, that's impressive to me. And like I said, I was already investing uh, quite frequent. I I would I did you know I'm not made of money, but I was definitely putting money in at these levels because I knew it was there was no way. I mean, there was no way it was going to stay down there. <laughs> so now when it's at this price level. Um, because I already have my core positions down here, I'm still, I mean, I would, I, <laughs> I don't see how this is high priced at all. Like if I'm saying this, this has a lot of room to grow, I don't think this is high priced, but you know, to each their own. And you're definitely going to have, if you do decide to look at this project, you're going to have to do your own research, dig in. And if you're going to look around, I would suggest that you look at their um, documentation Let's see what kind of documentation we have for this particular project. You have the overview, which we just watched. You have the use cases. You got site, site hosting, application, machine learning, scientific research, game servers, video streaming, video rendering, architecture. It's, it's sophisticated. It's using smart contracts, fog computing, Yandex cocaine. What a heck of a name though, right? Um, well, we'll see. Uh, where's the, let's see if we can, oh, miners buyers. What I'm looking for here is the white paper. Let's see if we can get that white paper, white paper right here. So if you're looking to read the white paper on this project, which I don't think you should ever uh, invest in a project unless you're willing to take a look at the white paper. And I definitely don't think you should invest a lot of money in anything unless you look at the white paper and like what you read, like what you hear or like what you read. And um, so you can go to the bottom of their website, check out their Check out their white paper. You can check out their website. And if, if you're on the fence about this, definitely don't just jump in there and say, oh, okay, Jeff recommended a project, so I'm going to just dive right in there. No, we don't do that. You guys need to come on here and check out the white paper. Be accountable for your own investments. And if you read it and you don't like it, then you don't invest. If you read it and you like it, then you do what? Okay? It's pretty easy, guys. But you don't just jump into something without understanding at least what it is. 
And how do you find out what it is? Usually you got to go to the white paper. Or if you're the type of person who can go to a website and you got enough uh, uh, clairvoyance or whatever you want to call it to be able to pick up on things when you see it, then so be it. But the Sonam project, like I said, I've already invested in this a couple times, uh, actually just three weeks ago. It wasn't too long ago when this was, yeah, like 10 cents, like right here. I was surprised when it was at that range because I was like, I don't understand. I was like, I, I went on their website and I was like, how does this even have the valuation that it does at the level of sophistication it is? Because then I started looking at some of these other cryptocurrencies that are ahead of it. Like, look at all these cryptocurrencies ahead of this. And if you go and dive into any of these, I mean, you'll start to realize like some of these, some of these are like not even close. They're not even remotely close to the SOM project and they're outpacing them. I mean, this substratum is definitely a, a, a massive project itself. Is it? I don't know. If, oh, yeah. See, so some's not too far behind substratum. So these two are kind of neck and neck. I would say they're both under under uh, value, both of them, actually. But here's Store J. Store J is uh, just a, a little bit ahead of them. Store J is like uh, Sciacoin. It's a cloud storage, um, decentralized cloud storage. It's interesting. Let's see. I mean, I'm not saying these coins up here aren't necessarily qualified to be where they're at, but I mean, in, in terms of sophisticated projects, um, you know, like I said, I took, we took a look at their team. The thing about their team is, you know, I don't know these guys personally, so maybe you would take some time to get to know these guys, see what you think about them. But as you can see, I mean, there's a, they have a large team and, how much commitment they're willing to put into it. Yet they have a senior front end developer, you know, maybe, maybe take the time. Oh, here's the product owner. See, so there's, there's various different elements to this project. Um, so the project's sophisticated. The team looks like they're uh, very serious people. So never met them personally. So I cannot speak on that level, but very interesting project. What is this? So in three days, five hours, 20 minutes, 19 seconds, 18 seconds, they're going to have that news drop right here. Um, decentralized supercomputer Sonom to launch MVP test net on December 25th. So I don't know what kind of effect that's going to have on the price. If it's going to go up, if it's going to do nothing. I mean, December 25th, <laughs> most people are going to be drinking eggnog and sitting by a campfire. So we'll see what that does to the price. But it could be a Merry Christmas to those who buy today, or it could be like, a, hey, why didn't that pop? Like I thought, well, because people are drinking eggnog sitting around a fire, I don't know. Or it could be people on Christmas are like, give me that crypto. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I really don't know how that's going to play out. We're in uncharted territory. But one thing I do know is that the project is very sophisticated. It's an impressive project. Sun releases minimum viable product to developer community. So Sonom, the universal fog supercomputer powered by blockchain technology has announced that it will release minimum viable product MVP to developers on December 25th, 2017. The release of this beta version of the Sonom platform will offer developers an opportunity to test the range of fog computing services offered by Sonom to and to other critical feedback and improvements and ahead of its planned release to customers in August, 2018. So they're ahead of their, they're ahead of their release date for this. So they're ahead of schedule. Um, yeah. So anyways, just doing a quick review here of the SOM project. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe you can tell me if there's a project that's better, that's doing the exact same thing. Or maybe you can say that you think these guys are um, maybe doing something that's way out of their league. Or you could say something like, hey, maybe this is a great project to invest in. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, this is not financial advice. You guys all need to take responsibility for your own investments. You need to go on to the website if you like this project. You need to read up on the white paper, which you can find at the bottom of the page. You need to watch the videos, maybe do some research on the team. Check out the jobs. Check out the GitHub. Just dig in, guys. I mean, this is a big project. And for some people, I would say it's probably pretty difficult to wrap their brain around. Um, even for me, who's a tech I'm not, I'm a, I'm more of a tech, uh, analyst.
than I am like you tell me to write a blockchain code using JavaScript and I'm like, uh, yeah, that job's not getting done. But you tell me to produce a video about a tech, then I can do it. Uh, if I see, I know how to identify a, a quality project from a non-quality project. But if you told me how to get down there in the, the grass roots and try and you know fuse the the wires together, connect the algorithm with each other, I'm like, not the guy for the job. You see, so. Something like this, it, it kind of, in a, in a way, technology-wise, it's fairly advanced, or it's quite advanced, and it it's uh, so advanced. But I get the idea of what the product, the project is trying to achieve, and because of that, I'm impressed. So, anyways, guys, this is Jeff with Altcoin Buzz. If you're new here, you can subscribe, and if you've been subscribed, you can click the notification button, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Let's 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 let you know where you can follow these guys on Twitter first. So you can follow some project on Twitter. They have 14,000. So you can stay up to date. If you do choose to invest, you can stay up to date and get the updates as they come in. Um, they're out of Moscow. So you can follow them at some development and uh, stay plugged in with their project. I recommend that if you're not already on Twitter, you do one of these. Yeah. I might as well follow these. See, guys, you can see the, the strength in um, Twitter here is basically following your favorite projects. You can follow us right here, AltcoinBuzz.io. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, wow, we just crossed 10,000, so we're still growing. Yes, we know about the Bitcoin whales action. And yes, I am letting you know it's whales. In my opinion, it's whales. Do I know exactly that it's whales? No, but it looks like it. So anyways, guys, we shall see you guys on the next video.